um, uh, start recording. OK, yeah, that's I still, what I now. cannot see it. I still cannot see it. Yeah, actually, there is, there is a red uh, spot, meaning that you are recording now. Yeah, I start recording, but I cannot see your slides. Oh, no, no. OK, OK, I, I, I do it. I guess you, yeah. you have it now. OK, okay. so I, I, I can put it in full screen. Yes, yes, yeah? yes, okay. yes, perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I can see you. And uh, also, if may, uh, please keep your video on. OK. But okay. all so the I, participants, I will ask them to uh, uh, to switch off uh, the uh, video and microphone yes. and I will follow that uh, they did it. OK. OK. Uh, uh, the because the, uh, there could be uh, low quality, you know, uh, if uh, others uh, are with uh, uh, videos and also if my uh, I'll switch off my video and my microphone. OK, but I could switch off my video as well. No, 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 no. Please keep it because it, okay. uh, uh, it's good uh, that the uh, speaker is visible, but uh, I will be here. Uh, I'm just saying yeah. uh, I will the switch point... off my camera, but I will be here. OK, the point, uh, Sasha, is I, I don't see myself. So if I do something yeah. wrong or if I okay. my hair are not in a okay. good uh, shape, you see, and uh, oh, okay, yeah. you see what I mean. I, if I don't yeah. see me myself, uh, it's uh, it's, uh, no, it's not the nicely, please. <laughs> okay, I keep it as as it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I do not worry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then um, uh, we uh, starting our uh, seminar. I see that, uh, uh, but our participants are still coming. Oh, that is okay, and uh, uh, it's uh, my pleasure to uh, uh, introduce um, uh, Ifma Iskola. Um, uh, he is now in Brest, uh, in uh, France. And Ifma visited us several times, and uh, uh, he worked uh, uh, with uh, uh, Mark Cooker and uh, with me. And uh, uh, you could remember that a week ago when I did my presentation, I uh, mentioned uh, if my so now you can see him uh, as a pioneer of three dimensional uh, hydroelasticity. Uh, I said that the only paper I now on three dimensional uh, water entry problem with elasticity is by uh, IFMAE and uh, indeed the, uh, he published that paper and uh, we use this paper uh, in our studies uh, with uh, uh, Richard Purvis and uh, uh, Mike Peck. So the uh, presentation today uh, is about, uh, I believe it's related to flip through, but I'm not sure. And, uh, Partly. Partly, and uh, the uh, where the uh, Mark Cooker uh, was the kind of inventor uh, and the first investigator of that. So, uh, if my the uh, floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Sasha, for giving me the, the opportunity to give this uh, this seminar. It's uh, this uh, series of uh, seminars uh, dedicated to to Mark, who is now on uh, retirement. That means that uh, we are getting. Uh, old, aren't we? Uh, by the way, Mark and I have more or less the same age uh, and uh, we met actually where um, uh, I, I, I met uh, uh, Mark actually when we were both um, doctoring student. It was obviously uh, last uh, century, more precisely in 87. It was in Bristol and uh, I guess Mark was uh, supervised at that time by Owell Peregrine. And um, at that time, actually, I was doing a short stay, four or five weeks, maybe, at uh, the University of Bristol in July or August. By the way, I, I, I tell the truth, I, I, I do not remember that we have much uh, conversation or discussion about uh, nonlinear free surface, even if it was our our topic of research at that time, but uh, actually I, I remember more uh, uh, that we played squash often, and uh, uh, it seems that it's uh, actually my, my main souvenir of this day in Bristol. However, in, uh, much, much later, uh, we met regularly in Norwich, as uh, uh, Sasha said, as soon as Sasha has arrived in uh, UEA, and uh, uh, as you will see now in, 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 my, in the course of my presentation, you, I'm revisiting some of the, of the issues that Mark uh, has addressed in, in the past. Uh, Sasha mentioned flip through, but I, I will present some other results. 
Maybe Mark's uh, curiosity would be excited by these results, I, I hope so. And uh, uh, But in any case, uh, because I guess that Mark has not uh, stopped any any reflection or any uh, um, uh, thought about uh, um, what he did in the past. So uh, in any case, I wish I wish Mark uh, the best for the future and good luck as a, as a newly retired uh, person. And uh, to tell the truth, I envy you. But uh, it will come much later for me to be retired. So now, now, now it's, start, uh, it's time to, uh, to start the, the, my talk that uh, uh, Sasha uh, already introduced. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to speak uh, uh, about this kind of uh, small jets that you can see on this illustration. So you have a main uh, uh, tip of the, of the crest, so it's an overturning crest, a plunging breaker. Uh, on which, in the, at the top of this uh, of this uh, 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 roof, or the, the top of this uh, uh, barrel, or what is called by software tube, um, you you may have a, a short, uh, a small uh, critical jet where the kinematics is very is very uh, uh, high. And um, for that, we uh, it's not it's not enough to to consider dam breaking case. Uh, starting from initial deformation of the free surface, it's uh, it's uh, important to introduce or inject uh, much energy in inside the inside the fluid. And for that, we we use here uh, a sloshing tank, which is forced in forced motion. And but the motion is not as complicated as illustrated on this uh, figure. It's uh, it consists of uh, horizontal motion mainly because it's much simpler in terms of uh, uh, mathematical formulation. And this cycle, uh, oscillating cycle of uh, motion is illustrated on this uh, time uh, variation. And it has been used by Karimi to, uh, to uh, uh, select in a long sequence of motion uh, uh, some uh, wave of interest. So this uh, can be illustrated also with these uh, movies. Um, this is experiments uh, done by Karimi, but here in a uh, rectangular tank, which is a chamfer, as you can see here, and it's not uh, very convenient in terms of uh, of simulation, numerical simulation. It's much easier to to uh, consider rectangular tank as it's done here in the experiments carried out by Fabien Remy in Marseille, but uh, uh, I, I haven't got at that time interesting results uh, yet. Uh, hopefully, I, I could have uh, next year uh, new experimental data, because actually I, I, I tackle this problem uh, numerically by using this uh, code, which is called uh, uh, FSID for free surface identification. It's a code which solve uh, which solves the uh, uh, equations uh, for uh, nonlinear free surface flows in uh, potential theory. So with a classical uh, uh, hypothesis. I won't give more details at what is written here. The, the equations are posed in a 2D uh, configuration using a so-called uh, desingularized uh, technique, meaning that the uh, velocity potential can be, can be uh, decomposed as an influence of singularities, but uh, located outside the free domain, so uh, no integral, integral equation to discretize. And uh, by using conformal mapping, we can get rid of, uh, because we are in 2D configuration, we can get rid of uh, uh, impermeability condition on the power, on the walls of the, of the tank. Okay, so what, what about critical jets uh, appearing in, in a highly nonlinear wave? Uh, from the literature, we do not have uh, many, many, uh, many results, actually. Uh, from this paper in uh, 96, from uh, Grilly and Subramania, they, by injecting a lot of energy, kinetic energy, mainly by uh, using a, a wave maker, which is moving in this direction, you can arrive at some uh, critical a jet appearing below the uh, in the tube of uh, by the way of of the plunging breaker, uh, but uh, they they commented that first as an artifact numerical artifact, but checked that it was not an arti uh, numerical artifact, and but uh, they did not uh, comment much um, this uh, this phenomenon, but it looks like uh, what I'm going to speak today. Uh, obviously, you have some results from uh, uh, Longetigins and uh, Dumarmut here, this kind of jet appearing uh, somewhere in the, uh, but uh, actually Longetigins uh, mainly uh, uh, considered uh, uh, very academical con configurations and not as physical as what I'm going to, to show today. 
Um, he, he introduced also the bazooka effect. Uh, that what I'm going to, going to 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 uh, to call a pre bazooka effect because uh, we we are obtaining also this local growth along the free surface, which precedes some uh, uh, high uh, kinematic in the in the fluid. And then, the, uh, but. Uh, that's all for the literature. So I will I will start first, obviously, with a flip through. Flip through being a, a, a also a critical jet, and the historical flip through as it was discovered by Mark Hooker and Owell Peregrine in the 90s, and further studied by others listed here. And finally, Mark also did some work uh, to. Uh, to um, on the basis of what is the configuration of the free surface at the very end before the flip through appears. Um, I mean that the free surface is uh, as a parabolic sh shape, and indeed this is a, a, almost a, con a necessary condition for the flip through to, to appear. This uh, flip through had, has been has been uh, uh, observed actually in experiments here in the in the experiments carried out in uh, Delft uh, University or in Delta RS facilities, I do not remember precisely. It was in the uh, pro project called uh, Slow Shell. Uh, OK, this, this uh, video is probably too fast, and uh, we have a, here a close view of what is uh, a free through, so, and with a, a faster camera. So actually, free through is a competition between the crest, which want to hit the wall, and, and the run up along along the vertical wall as it is here. And this competition makes that at the end, there is a, a jet which appears here, which means that the, the free surface has flipped. And uh, as a consequence, we have a, so the run up won finally against the, uh, the main crest. And, um, and this, is a, this is a flip through. Um, flip through has been studied, uh, uh, has been used as a concept actually in this uh, slow shell project, which was a, a GIP. I won't see you the, the movie for those who are interested. I could actually this was uh, the purpose was to uh, to uh, to uh, to be able to develop method methodology to um, to uh, to anticipate the large uh, fluid motion in this uh, uh, tank uh, for LNG. Uh, when there is a low filling ratio, and therefore you may have big waves uh, eating eating the walls of the of the tank, and the flip through is actually a um, um, transition between two, between two con configurations, which one is the air pocket as illustrated here, and here the connected uh, distribution of pressure for each uh, free surface profile, and here is the uh, is wall. And the uh, transition between this configuration and the uh, mild uh, run-up, which is called slosh also in the terminology of the slosh project. And at the end, it was uh, we arrived we arrived at the result that uh, uh, when free flow occur, which is can be uh, uh, captured uh, as a uh, transition between two configurations, uh, as I said, by uh, by uh, tuning the focal point of focused wave, and then we it was observed that uh, we get for free flow maximum of pressure and maximum of of force. Uh, that's what is uh, summed up in this in this. Uh, uh, figures. So, so it's a uh, flip through is a very important, um, a very important uh, 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 critical jet. Now, I, I'm going to to speak uh, some others, some other uh, uh, critical jet uh, for which I have given a, a name, which could be discussed, obviously. But uh, uh, I've used some uh, something which uh, looks like what we we observe. Um, I, I speak first about the uh, so-called lobster lobster claw. So it's uh, it's obtained by uh, by uh, running a potential flow uh, solver, which uh, and uh, this is a replay of a simulation. This is uh, on the right uh, close of view of what is occurring uh, close to the wall, and uh, at some times you will have a local growth um, and uh, uh, leading at the end at uh, uh, to um, to a, a small uh, jet, which is very powerful, actually. So you, you see here the local growth, and at the end you have uh, this, uh, this very critical jet where the kinematics is very high. And this uh, simulation has been used at, uh, as a reference, a simulation from which, from which we, we did a restart. Meaning that we we have uh, all this uh, configuration of uh, free surface deformation and the associated uh, distribution of velocity potential, so we can start 
for example, from the red uh, line uh, with the uh, um, fluid where there is almost no kinematic kinetic uh, energy, but a large potential energy. So it looks like a dam breaking case. But if we consider this instant of restart, we have a large kinetic energy, initial kinetic energy, but a small, very small uh, potential energy. And and by doing that, uh, you, we, we could cover a large range of uh, critical jets, which are uh, tiny, maybe on this uh, 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 collection of uh, figures, but um, better to uh, we, uh, seen with this uh, close of views. So we have a, we can range from a case where there is no jet up to the uh, the case where there is a very powerful jet, uh, critical jet, uh, passing through uh, uh, some other configurations where you have a preeminent uh, uh, jet uh, starting just below the uh, the main crest. And this one maybe uh, I will comment. Uh, later. So it's a uh, um um, and uh, I will I will I will start with this uh, second uh, uh, critical jet. The others I will I will comment uh, later in uh, uh, in in the presentation. Basically, actually, we we have to consider the the pressure. The pressure is a key uh, value value variable which govern or which can uh, uh, govern in some sense uh, the global the the flow and the uh, the what uh, has to be uh, observed before the appearance of the critical jet. So this is a uh, is a contour of pressure. So it means here that you have a maximum of pressure and which precedes the appearance of this critical jet, which is uh, also uh, associated with a very uh, a large density of isocontour, which, me which means that the gradient of the pressure is very high. So uh, we, I can show you also uh, a short movie uh, for the same kind of uh, simulation showing the iso value of, of the pressure. Here you have a maximum and then it precedes uh, uh, the launch of this uh, critical jet. Um, maybe this this uh, perspective, uh, this view, three D view, is better. This is uh, at a given instant uh, when the, there is a maximum of pressure, which occurs somewhere here, and here you recognize the uh, the line which defines the free surface where the pressure is zero, and and uh, whatever the, the value of this maximum of pressure, if it occurs close to the free surface, it means that we have a very strong gradient. And if you have a strong gradient of pressure, obviously you have a strong uh, Lagrangian uh, acceleration. That's a, that's a key feature of such a, such a flow. But it doesn't mean that uh, a maximum pressure is a necessary condition for a critical jet to, to appear. That's what I'm going to show later. So basically, we have uh, these, uh, these equations, uh, classical uh, uh, equation at the free surface here. You have the Euler equation, which is uh, slightly modified if you uh, take into account uh, the acceleration of the moving tank. You can formulate this Euler equation here in terms of the velocity, uh, u, uh, g being the gravity, but also you can use, uh, you can use uh, um, a complex uh, Euler equation by using using um, F, capital F, being the complex potential of the flow, which is easily obtained in the frame of this uh, approach, numerical approach, because it's uh, just a, uh, a finite uh, summation of the influence of singularities, uh, as I said uh, previously. So long etigins provide all these equations, by the way, in this paper, and uh, we can go uh, further. As I told you, um, um, uh, when the gradient of pressure close to the free surface vanishes, it's uh, it's uh, uh, important information. It's either a maximum or a, a saddle point. You might be interested also in the curvature of the pressure, so the Laplace uh, Laplacian of the pressure being the mean curvature. Uh, but uh, it's of no in big interest because it's always negative uh, all over the fluid. More interesting is the Gaussian curvature because Gaussian curvature being, as I will expose later, the determinant of the Hessian matrix can, can uh, change sign. And this is uh, important. I will explain why later on. And also there is another data which is of interest is the curvature radius along the free surface, which can uh, change sign. Uh, when the denominator uh, change sign. 
And uh, so if it's zero, it means that the radius of curvature also goes to infinity, meaning that there is a, along the free surface some inflection uh, point. So I, I will I will start, I will uh, comment first with a restart uh, uh, from a, a lobster claw, uh, and you will see that what we are going to uh, to simulate looks like what is uh, represented here, which is a real lobster claw. Um, okay, so this is a, a closer view on the right of the closer view of what is occurring at the at the at the left uh, at the left wall. Uh, and then, yes, you see this uh, small jet, which is uh, rather prominent, and I will discuss some results uh, coming from this uh, simulation. So before the appearance of, of the critical jet, you see that uh, the, the free surface is perfectly uh, smooth, and, but inside the fluid there is something which is uh, very strange, which occurs at the, at the, at the, uh, um, um, where the critical jet will appear. And here it's, for example, the early orient acceleration, uh, which uh, shows that uh, there is a, a very uh, a strong kinematics, which is likely to occur here. And uh, this is combined uh, usually with a convective term, which also uh, reach very high value, close to this uh, uh, green spot. And uh, the sum of this, uh, the two, two terms gives you the, the gradient of pressure uh, divided by the density. I will consider density is equal to one without loss of uh, generality later on. And um, and and okay. So the the gradient of pressure is always directed in the normal direction, pointing inside the, the fluid. And in addition, here I plot also the the region which is closed, where uh, inside which the Gaussian curvature is positive. So the blue po point here it's where the uh, gradient of pressure vanishes is uh, really a, a, a maximum. Therefore. Okay, if you look at the same uh, same kind of uh, uh, figures uh, on the same kind of uh, vector fields, I mean, uh, but uh, at a later time, you observe that it's still uh, the region where you have a very great uh, uh, kinematics here for the Eulerian acceleration, convective term, and, uh, and the combination of these two terms giving the, the gradient of pressure. Okay, and still you have a, a, a very a small region where the Gaussian curvature is positive in the close vicinity of the uh, at the at the uh, 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 yeah when the cr cr critical jet appears okay so uh, some interesting also um, uh, features of of such flows in this region where you have uh, high kinematics we can plot uh, vec two vectors for example, one vector, which is a Eulerian acceleration here in green, the convective term in, in blue, and it's interesting to note that these two vectors are opposite in direction, the so sum uh, being giving the gradient of the pressure, and uh, which is a, a rather small. But still, anyway, all these vectors are very uh, uh, give a very high quantity compared to the gravity in the Euler equation, because actually one one unit in this uh, in this uh, plot correspond to uh, more than uh, 100 uh, times the gravity um, so uh, gravity is definitely negligible in in this uh, uh, when this type of kinematics occur and more curiously also it's uh, the fact that uh, earlier uh, acceleration is uh, uh, as an intensity which is which is smaller than the convective term and uh, if you remember uh, uh, bernoulli equation uh, uh, defi dt we being the time derivative uh, of the velocity potential connected to this quantity is often and uh, uh, always uh, greater than the uh, uh, half the um, the velocity, velocity square, which follows from this uh, quantity, and uh, and here it's uh, opposite. Okay, so I, you understood now, I guess, that uh, uh, we have to track uh, the, gra the gradient of pressure, and especially when uh, this quantity vanishes. But before vanishing, this quantity is minimum somewhere, and uh, wherever the point where this minimum occurs, we plot here the time variation of the gr minimum of gradient of, uh, of the pressure divided by some quantities. So it means that it's bounded by one here about, so it means that uh, the uh, Lagrangian acceleration is uh, is almost zero and but it doesn't mean obviously that the fluid doesn't move uh, it means that uh, the convective term and earlier in acceleration compensate each other 
Then after uh, at an instant here, the the uh, pressure gradient of pressure vanishes completely, giving uh, in that case uh, a maximum and not a, a saddle point, but uh, it, indeed it's a maximum. So we we would like before before this maximum occur, we we want to track where are the minima of the pressure gradient. Uh, because this is uh, 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 the past of the phenomenon we are interested in. And this is the trajectories of this minimum. You see that it's almost uh, rectilinear and uh, up to that point where the maximum occurs. So the gradient vanishes exactly. But from this, uh, from this uh, uh, plot or this one, which is a closer view of this one, we do not see that much what, uh, uh, what is the uh, main feature of, of the flow. And um, so we have to go uh, deeper in the analysis of the pressure field. And for that, we, we study the Hessian matrix. The Hessian matrix is made of the uh, double, uh, the second derivative of the pressure, which is it's a symmetric matrix, and the determinant of, determinant of which uh, gives a user uh, uh, Gaussian curvature. We can calculate each term of this matrix easily, knowing the uh, velocity complex uh, potential of the flow, and uh, because uh, there are derivatives uh, in space and time are easily obtained. Uh, you can note uh, by using this notation that the uh, uh, small f, which is there, corresponds to this quantity, and it's uh, always positive. All these quantities, again, can be found in the paper by Lange Dickens. But we are more interested in all the properties of this, mat of this matrix. Uh, for example, there uh, the, it's uh, eigen eigenvalues, which are here, and eigenvectors. And uh, you know, you note, uh, notice that you can notice that one of them, uh, minus f minus uh, uh, modulus of a, is always negative. We will notice, we will uh, denote it uh, uh, lambda two, and the other one can change sign. And uh, associated to the to this uh, um, uh, special eigenvalue, we calculate also the eigenvector, uh, which will be denoted v1. And uh, uh, some uh, interesting quantity, which is uh, interesting to, to calculate, is uh, the um, uh, actually the, uh, the the value v, which is variable v, which is written here and which can uh, change sign when uh, gradient of pressure and v1, the first eigenvector associated with lambda1, uh, uh, are parallel uh, to each other. And this occurs when this, quant when this quantity uh, vanishes. This quantity vanishes, by the way, when the gradient of pressure also vanish. So it, it gives us a lot of information. To illustrate what is this line I plot here, early enough before the appearance of the critical jet, uh, the overturning crest, which uh, at some instant. And uh, the kinematic is, uh, is rather uh, 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 smooth in some sense. So I plot here the gradient of the pressure, which is made which is made normalized by dividing it by uh, its uh, uh, modulus, and I plot also the uh, first uh, eigenvector. And the black spots correspond to the location in the flow where these two quantities are parallel. And I've called it actually backbone for for reasons that it looks like uh, uh, the backbone of uh, of a fish, or more artistically, this one made by my, my son and also it looks like also the the, the this crest uh, followed by by alpinist here climbing up the mont blanc and obviously our uh, pressure distribution is much uh, smoother than the uh, surface made by this uh, mountain but uh, the, the, it uh, illustrates the same the same feature of of the surface made by the pressure okay and if we look at uh, this backbone for uh, at some instant in two different um, uh, simulation, one with no uh, critical jet, one with the final critical jet, but we, we consider the flow uh, early before the uh, critical jet appears in this configuration. And this backbone line, you see, is a line which is uh, simply connected, uh, linking the, the tip of the, of the crest, the main crest, up to the bottom, where the, or down to the bottom, actually, where um, uh, the maximum of pressure is, is reached. 
and uh, this, this is a simply connected line which looks like uh, which has the same um, uh, overall uh, features uh, uh, here and here and even the area where the Gaussian curvature is positive this is this is uh, uh, region here 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 and and there and uh, also looks like uh, look like uh, uh, more or less so they have the same uh, uh, features anyway Okay, so, um, but this is much earlier before uh, the appearance of the critical jet. If we consider now uh, what occurs uh, uh, slightly before the appearance of the critical jet, this is an animation showing this, uh, this uh, backbone line, which is made by this uh, uh, blue, uh, blue uh, spot. Uh, starting from the tip of the main crest, here embedded in a region where the gradient of pressure is uh, smaller than gravity. In the black spot, you have the region where the uh, uh, Gaussian curvature is positive in this region here, and you see that uh, also the, the, uh, uh, there is some inflection point or the free surface get very flat. So it's, it seems that there is a, a starting uh, um, uh, local growth here, uh, and which is uh, bounded by the point, the intersection with the line where the Gaussian curvature uh, get positive. So if we go on, uh, this line uh, has been broken, as you see, and is a really a newly um, uh, backbone line starting from the bottom on, on, on the right of the, of the flow, embedded again in a region where the gradient pressure is below the uh, gravity, which is in red here, and it's, it is going to, to join the region where the, um, um, the critical jet will appear. Okay, so this is uh, the past of uh, the flow before the critical jet is uh, is going to appear, and this is uh, very important to uh, to understand how it works afterwards. So here, the okay, the area where the Gaussian curvature shrinks uh, with a maximum inside, and uh, the the critical jet will appear soon. Now, actually, and uh, this is uh, the backbone line as I uh, introduced before, and then the jet starts. Okay. So this is uh, rather complicated. I'm not sure that uh, we have seen that before in the, in the in in uh, in other studies. Okay, so if we do a snapshot of what uh, I, I was speaking about, this is the last stage of the flow before a uh, fully developed uh, uh, critical jet. And you see that this is a line, backbone line that I've called, uh, embedded partly in the area where the Gaussian curvature is positive with two spots, where the gradient pressure vanishes. Here, actually, this is a saddle point and here uh, a, a maximum. And along this line, we can define the arc length along which we can uh, plot the variation of the uh, either the gradient of pressure or the pressure. Uh, pressure is in green, so the pressure uh, falls drop uh, up to a not very small value and starting from a not also a very great value, far from not far from actually the uh, hydrostatic pressure. But uh, here you have a, a horizontal slope uh, giving a, a, a zero gradient of pressure at two points, so saddle point and a maximum here. But then just after the gradient of pressure uh, uh, start uh, increasing uh, uh, significantly, and actually we can we can um, uh, uh, consider now instead of the gradient of pressure, we can consider the Lagrangian. Uh, 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 acceleration, which is more or less the same as the free surface, provided that the gravity is negligible. And this is plotted in uh, in time, in increasing time here, uh, at the uh, very end of the flow, and plotted also uh, with the arc length, uh, starting from the left wall to the right wall, and passing through the point where you have the main crest uh, the, main, the tip of the main crest, which is in blue, where the, the, the uh, early, early, uh, Lagrangian acceleration is very, uh, is very small. Actually, it's uh, just gravity. We know that the main crest is in free fall, but in the jet, you have uh, two maxima, a part of the tip of the jet, which is uh, more or less uh, the green line, actually, where the maximum of velocity occurs. But uh, on, on, on the one side of the critical jet, you have a, a very high uh, acceleration, which is about uh, 300 uh, times the gravity here, which is rich before the end of the flow, by the way. So the, uh, uh, it's far be, be, uh, beyond uh, what I've, so, uh, I've shown you along the backbone line, which doesn't, doesn't uh, end on, on the free surface. 
Okay. So there is another feature of the flow which is interesting and concern now the free surface, which has, may have some inflection point appearing uh, at some different point. And here, for example, you see that uh, there is a local growth, which doesn't lead to any uh, critical f uh, uh, jet, by the way. And if we get a, 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 a plot of the uh, time evolution of the radius of curvature here, uh, so increasing time on this direction and uh, increasing uh, arc length in this direction, uh, you have this uh, uh, closed um, region uh, where you have uh, appearance of uh, inflection point to inflection point, and uh, actually this is, uh, we end up with a, a closed uh, shape actually at the at the end. But here you have the um, uh, variation temporal and spatial variation of the radius of curvature, mean uh, which indicates the appearance of the critical jet. So in this in this region. So if you get a upper view of of this plot, you obtain this, and uh, we can correlate. Uh, perfectly the uh, zero of the Gaussian curvature, which is in uh, in uh, red, and the change of sign of the curvature radius on the free surface. So there is a easy, uh, quite easy explanation of this. If you plot the uh, pressure in terms of the uh, two horizontal coordinate x and y, and the blue line will be the uh, free surface where p is equal to zero, and at that point there is an inflection where the radius of curvature of the free surface tends to infinity, so its inverse is zero, and we can uh, consider that lambda one. I was speaking about the uh, first uh, um, uh, eigenvalue of the Hessian matrix is negative here and positive here, so which correspond to the change of sign of this uh, uh, radius of curvature at the free surface. So uh, now I will, uh, uh, knowing all that, uh, uh, I will speak about uh, another another uh, uh, configuration, which is uh, can be of uh, great uh, interest, which is uh, looks like a local growth, so the pre bazooka effect, as uh, as Longetigins uh, uh, introduced it. But here it's uh, more interesting because we end up with. Uh, uh, so-called uh, uh, flip-through, which appears, yes, right now. And we understand by looking at this uh, simulation that uh, the flip-through occurs with a very high acceleration. And uh, for this configuration, I, I did a parametrical analysis in terms of the amplification of uh, factor of the forced motion. So we have uh, some reference simulation uh, corresponding to the uh, or, uh, black line here, and we can increase the for amplitude of the form motion by a factor 1.2 almost. And the same for the velocity and acceleration. And uh, doing this, we end up always with the same kind of uh, flow, which is uh, local growth, so pre bazooka, but ending up with uh, the with, uh, uh, flip through. And we will uh, parametry. Uh, analyze the acceleration in the free through. And for that also, we, we have used the Navier-Stokes solver to make sure that we can get uh, uh, validated results. Uh, this uh, uh, Navier-Stokes solver, CADIF, is developed by uh, Stéphane Etienne uh, in uh, a Polytechnic, working in Polytechnic Montreal in, uh, in, uh, in Canada. And this uh, model uh, solves uh, two fluid uh, equations. Uh, with a lot of focus on or uh, numerical efforts to uh, to uh, capture the interface, which is not a fuzzy as as in a VOF uh, approach, and uh, with deformable mesh and very accurate uh, numerical scheme. I won't give more details about uh, this code, but you can may have uh, information in this in this paper, which is uh, uh, here. Um, so we have compared actually first uh, the time variation of the energies, potential energy, kinetic energy. So this is only energies of the of the fluid, uh, regardless the energy associated with the force motion. And this is the first row corresponding to uh, correspond to um, um, to the uh, potential flow solver, and here the Navier-Stokes solver. And we cannot distinguish a, a, a big difference, big differences. And by the way, we can superpose all the uh, uh, Results of the whole, sim whole simulation, whatever the amplification factor, provided that we divide uh, the energies, potential and kinetic, by a power 1.83 of this amplification factor, which is not uh, intuitively we would have chosen maybe two, not this power, but uh, indeed we we can superpose all the results. This is an open question to to answer in the in the future, by the way. 
But we are more interested in the last uh, in the last uh, um, uh, stage of the flow, where we opt, uh, we we will uh, uh, reg uh, we will um, uh, compare actually the acceleration of this point. So this is the uh, intersection between the free surface and the vertical wall, and indeed the acceleration can be very high, and uh, that where the actually the um, uh, differences between the two approach uh, are more visible. Um, this is the time variation of the of the acceleration of this point, which show does do not show big uh, differences. Um, but if we'll uh, get a closer view uh, when the maximum occur here for the potential flow solver and here for the uh, Navistock solver, we, we can get uh, uh, differences, uh, mainly in terms of uh, maximum vertical acceleration, because we have a, a factor 15. But definitely we have good reason to think that there are differences. Uh, significant differences because uh, Navistock solver uh, uh, have, uh, uh, is a two, two fluid mo model with uh, uh, viscosity and tension, uh, surface tension, and so on, which is not the case with the potential for solver. So we, but uh, actually, uh, Stefan Etienne is the rerunning his uh, simulations now, and uh, we uh, hope to uh, to get better results. What was interesting, actually, is as soon as we have uh, this kind of blow up in finite time, where the acceleration uh, increase uh, suddenly, uh, almost like a singularity, uh, uh, it's in interesting to uh, fit this type uh, of uh, time variation here, gamma, beta, and alpha being some uh, coefficient to uh, to determine by fitting this function with uh, numerical results, and Ts being the time at which this singularity is, uh, is likely to occur, which depends on, on the amplification factor. And if this is actually uh, Ts of x minus t, t being time, is plotted in the horizontal direction in log scale, and you have actually a perfect uh, 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 straight line, actually, uh, provided that you are sufficiently far from the maximum of the acceleration in this uh, uh, area. So uh, we collect the uh, power uh, of all the simulations, and uh, these are summarized here in this plot. And we see that uh, uh, power is uh, about uh, one or uh, even greater than one. And the uh, okay, so the red spot from the Navistock solver should be should be improved, but the potential flow solver gives you um, a slight variation of this power. This should be compared with uh, theoretical values or not theoretical because Longetigins uh, used uh, flip through uh, results from uh, Mark and uh, Owell Pellegrin in the past and uh, uh, determined a uh, power which is about 1.22. Uh, in uh, in this paper, and this also should be compared to the theoretical uh, data uh, by obtained by Zeff and and Quarter uh, more recently, and um, but uh, definitely in the present case we get uh, some power low, which is uh, with a power which is uh, slightly uh, below what was uh, uh, ex uh, calculated before. So now I end up with if I have time. Um, hope so. Um, I would like to to um, to speak about uh, the last results, and uh, they are uh, rather recent. And uh, you see, this is the same kind of flow produced by the same configuration. And uh, and here you have uh, the uh, uh, you have the uh, global flow, and here a close of view of uh, close to the left wall. And you will understand why I call it a, a Taft. Um, a tough air because you and you start with the uh, local growth quite uh, similar to what we uh, obtained before but you see that we end up uh, uh, with a tuft like a, a tuft of air on on the head not of tintin here but on the head of of the wave and uh, and that's why i put this um, this uh, pictures here from a hero of cartoons which is very uh, popular in france and belgium initially so if we look at um, uh, uh, this quantity, gradient of pressure normalized, um, uh, at, the, at the beginning you, had, you have the, the, the same kind of flow uh, with the backbone linking the tip of the crest to the, uh, the bottom and a area where the gradient of pressure is below gra uh, the gravity. And uh, and as it, uh, we we go further in time, uh, okay. Here we have something which is very interesting. It's a appearance of a, uh, of a region where suddenly uh, the Gaussian curvature gets positive, 
And this is precisely the, the area where, uh, under the, uh, the location where the critical jet or the local growth will start. And, uh, okay, so at the, the end of the flow is, uh, is not well uh, simulated here, uh, and, but we can get uh, a better view with, of this with a zoom. Uh, close to the starting um, uh, pre-bazooka here. And uh, okay, this is this is the line where back, what I've called the backboard line and in, embedded in the region where you have a positive Gaussian curvature. And then this, uh, this line uh, connect the bottom to, uh, to the tip of the uh, inverted crest or the tuft, uh, air tuft uh, as I called it. Okay. Um, okay, this is a snapshot of a snapshot of the same of the same uh, simulation showing this uh, backbone line, which is not uh, here connected to the bo uh, bottom, but uh, partly embedded in the uh, region where the Gaussian curvature is positive, and uh, and uh, here the uh, time evolution of the maximum uh, uh, Lagrangian acceleration at the free surface, and it's interesting to note that this always, uh, I mean, it occurs somewhere here. Actually, this is a free surface profile where the uh, maximum acceleration occur in the wall simulation, and this is a point. This is correspond to this maximum of acceleration, which is about uh, 400 times uh, the gravity. But actually, it's not exactly a blow up in finite time as I uh, have uh, defined it uh, uh, previously. But more interestingly is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, what is um, uh, plotted here. Uh, this is uh, iso line of or iso contour of the pressure, uh, showing the high density here of the iso contour, but also here. And finally, in, in this type of, uh, of uh, simulation, we can end up not only with the inverted crest as it is here, that I've called tuft of air tuft, but also we can end up with a free through along the wall. And uh, but uh, interesting feature of such flow is the fact that uh, the the uh, curvature of this inverted crest, which occurs here, uh, is uh, uh, develops in the direction of the uh, uh, in the of the region where the maximum acceleration occurs, or the, uh, alternatively the uh, maximum. Uh, uh, gradient of pressure occur. So in this uh, in this direction, it turns in this direction where the gradient of pressure also reach its maximum. Finally, I will say some some uh, what I have shown actually during the simulation. This is uh, the, the last um, the stage of the free surface before the appearance of the local growth here, the pre bazooka as I called it. And here's the, the increasing region where the Gaussian curvature uh, is positive. And uh, you see that uh, this is a closer view of uh, within the uh, uh, dashed uh, blue uh, line. And uh, starting from one point and increasing up to the point where this region will hit the, the free surface. And indeed, this can be considered as a premonary premonitory pre signs of the appearance of this uh, pre-bazooka or local growth of, of the free surface. So the question was, do we observe such uh, a phenomenon in Dumermut and Longetigin's computations? And uh, unfortunately, we, we, we do not obtain this. Uh, here, for example, this is a pre-bazooka, so we end up with a jet along the, uh, 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 the, the wall, but uh, definitely below uh, the appearance of this local jet, we do not observe any uh, region where the uh, Gaussian curvature gets uh, positive. So to conclude, I, I, I will say that uh, uh, with a simple uh, potential flow solver, we can uh, capture a very exotic localized uh, kinematics in already very highly uh, nonlinear wave because uh, basically we have a plunging breaker and a part of this uh, uh, main crest, we, we observe uh, some different uh, uh, critical jets. Uh, we can um, describe the flow uh, before the appearance of this uh, critical jet by tracking the minimum of pressure up to the point where this pressure uh, gradient uh, uh, vanish, by the way. And this, uh, uh, for that, we are helped by uh, considering the, by examining the properties of the uh, Hessian matrix. 
of the pressure and uh, so giving or uh, giving information about the local curvature and then we can uh, anticipate the onset of uh, of critical chat but uh, obviously uh, to validate all these uh, all these results we need some experimental data because we we need to uh, to uh, assess uh, the influence of uh, e either or both uh, uh, Reynolds number and viscosity therefore and uh, uh, surface tension um, effect as well Okay, that's, uh, thank you for your attention and uh, please ask me any question you would like. Thank you very much for my uh, very nice presentation, yeah. I did it in time? Yes, well in time, perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, very exciting, very exciting presentation. Yeah, so, the, so complicated and uh, so impressive. Mm. Yeah, e, uh, yeah. Uh, any questions please? Any questions? Any questions from any participant? Yeah, Mark, Mark, please, Mark. Hello, yes, uh, uh, thank you, Eve, a magnificent talk. Uh, mm. Thank you for lots of ideas there. I, mm. I don't really have a question, but I do have a comment. And you made it clear in your talk that the change of sign in the Hessian or the appearance of a positive Hessian seems to be very important. But it's intriguing that that's not always true. You gave an example where you don't see a positive Hessian. So it looked exciting that you maybe can predict a jet half of the time. And it makes me think that there might be two different mechanisms for making jets. Uh, would you like to speculate about possibly different mechanisms for making jets? Yes. Uh yeah, uh, we, we, we can. Um, I haven't got precisely what, what, what the question is. Oh, it was a comment. Comment, comment. Okay, comment. It, it was mostly a comment. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, uh, if my, you, um, at the very end, at the very end of your conclusion, at the very end your, of your presentation, you uh, mention that uh, experimental experiments are needed to confirm it, to investigate. But I think it's uh, the phenomena, uh, your, uh, phenomenon uh, you are studying, it's rather delicate. It would be uh, uh, difficult to, uh, to make such experiments. Do you have uh, ideas how to make dedicated experiments? Uh, the point is, uh, uh, um, yeah, it's not academical uh, studies uh, configurations that what I'm, I'm uh, actually I'm, uh, I've studied. It's mm -hmm. most of, of the of the simulations can be reproduced experimentally. The only point is uh, uh, the the bigger the better, and and um, 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 so far we have done uh, experiments in in a tank which is one meter long say and uh, in a narrow enough uh, tank to make sure that we have a 2d configuration and and and, and then it means that uh, at that uh, scale uh, we can uh, predict a phenomenon which will occur about uh, at uh, at scale uh, three four five centimeters up to 10 centimeters uh, uh, in the best case. So it means that at that uh, scale, we can uh, expect uh, influence of uh, viscosity, surface tension, and so on, and which could damp out uh, partly uh, uh, the, the phenomenon. But we, we, we have good hope, actually, to, to be able to reproduce um, um, experimentally such a phenomenon, because we have already got uh, uh, encouraging results uh, using um, uh, Navier-Stokes solver, yes, and 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 uh, until the end, until the flip through, when I spoke about uh, uh, the third um, configuration, you see, we we, we obtain exactly the same uh, phenomenon up to the flip through. So we we um, I'm pretty confident into the fact that uh, uh, we experimentally we will get uh, um, um, we could reproduce. Uh, the initial stage of such a critical flow. The only point, as I told you, is a question of scale. The bigger, mm -hmm. the better. So uh, if, uh, and uh, at the moment I have only, uh, so if, oh, okay, I, it's an opportunity for me to ask uh, people if you have a tank, which is uh, two meter long, say, I could put on uh, on uh, Exapod. I have an Exapod in Ifremer, uh, which is available. 
Please tell me, and I will manage to care to uh, <laughs> to transport this uh, tank up to Brest if you are ready to uh, <laughs> to borrow it and uh, and to lend me to to uh, yeah and and then I I could uh, I could have a big tank and but but uh, those who are dealing with the Navier stock solver at uh, at any scale you you can reproduce very easily this kind of flow and uh, already uh, confirm that this is inside the equations. Mm. Right, and um, yeah, uh, that uh, by uh, um, yeah, I understand that it's possible. You are saying it's possible to reproduce by CFD, but the conditions, I believe, they are very particular conditions. No, no, no I starting from rest. I starting from <laughs> rest, so I have a force motion, which is uh, I, 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 as I showed at, at the beginning, it's a simple uh, uh, cyclic uh, horizontal motion. You see, so it's a. Uh, this is a horizontal motion, which is like this. So it's very simple, and it occurs uh, less than uh, two or three seconds, say, and uh, it's enough to produce all this uh, 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 plunging breaker about mm -hmm. which appears this critical chat. Mm -hmm. So uh, everything uh, let me think that um, that uh, we can uh, feed good hope to get uh, <laughs> um, a validation with experimental uh, program. Mm. But yeah. obviously, before doing it, uh, I can speculate uh, all the time. But actually, some program, experimental program, is uh, um, is scheduled uh, by the beginning of next year okay. in Ifremer. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and that, uh, is, is it uh, is always that uh, breaking and uh, this uh, uh, say super jet? Uh, it's appear near a vertical wall. Or the wall is not necessary for uh, for this uh, super jet. Uh, the wall, the wall uh, uh, is uh, necessary for the appearance or a symmetrical a symmetric uh, uh, plane. So it can be oh. two phenomena uh, arriving uh, 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 in the opposite direction, and you will end up with the same kind of flow. So the <laughs> vertical wall plays uh, the uh, plane, uh, the the wall of uh, symmetry. Uh, in some sense, and uh, okay, and uh, but uh, when I, I I show this uh, this kind of uh, local jet here, you do do not need a wall at all. Yeah. And yeah. and uh, actually, what is in interesting? That's why I, I started first with uh, with a simple um, uh, overturning crest to this to do to, to uh, distinguish or identify the region where the maximum of kinematics occur, and yeah. this occur always if you. Have a simple breaking, uh, uh, dam breaking case, for example. Yeah. So starting with a given uh, level of uh, or a given uh, level of uh, uh, potential energy, yes. and uh, uh, the, the kinematics, the high kinematics, occur all, always here at the at the roof of the barrel, right? Okay. Because here you have an acceleration which is gravity, and here you have the maximum acceleration somewhere here where the uh, the the plane of uh, uh, tangent plane is um, more or less vertical. But uh, uh, in the present case, uh, we managed to introduce by doing this forcing motion, we managed to introduce much more energy than starting from a dime breaking case, okay. and that's why we arrive at a critical jet like uh, this one which appears here. And something which could be interesting is to co correlate the level of energy and the appearance of this uh, of this critical jet. Obviously, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's another question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there was a question because uh, I can see chat, but um, yeah, you know, uh, time to time, it was a question. It, uh, it's also a question for me. Uh, uh, you was talking about the experiments, large scale experiment. But if we think about yeah, you know huge waves, okay, not very huge, but uh, waves for surfing. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can find uh, uh, on uh, uh, in internet uh, pictures of that overturning wave. So they yeah. are huge. So definitely there are no surface tension and uh, viscosity. But no, not at all. Is it possible, do you think it's possible to observe that superjet for this uh, uh, wave for kind of for surfing? <laughs> 
No, uh, no, 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 it's not uh, uh, energetic enough <laughs> wave, but, uh, but yeah, oh, no, 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 it's, uh, but uh, you may have uh, um, uh, some influence of the bathymetry on the uh, shape of the barrel or the tube, as we call it uh, when you surf, uh, you, you, you stay in the, in the tube or the barrel, but uh, um, uh, no, no, it has never been observed uh, at, at that scale. Because actually, you you end up with the bathymetry effect, which makes the the, the wave bigger and bigger, and uh, up to the uh, overturning crest. But uh, it's not energy very energetic, okay. actually. But if you look at uh, inside the if you actually I showed these results in the in the workshop in Dalian in China recently, and uh, I was uh, dealing with a, a dam breaking case, simple, and uh, trying to uh, revisiting the um, uh, kinematics in the plunging breaker to identify where you have a maximum velocity, maximum acceleration, and so on. And uh, um, uh, actually, if you, uh, yes, there were a surfer, I had a movie, uh, uh, a, a surfer actually uh, fall down in water. And was projected due to the acceleration in the in the in the barrel uh, was uh, uh, pushed up to the to the roof of the of the of the of the of the barrel or the tube, and stopping there somewhere I guess uh, before and uh, projected maybe in the tip of the crest afterwards. So, but it's uh, it it means it means that you have an acceleration which is um, uh, 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 important there as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but uh, it, it, this kinematic of uh, overturning crest in uh, used by surfer is not as energetic as the one I've, mm -hmm. I've shown. Okay. Definitely, the critical jets are the results of highly uh, of a, 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 a large amount of uh, stored kinematic kinetic energy uh, in the fluid. Yeah, I see. So this is the uh, more for uh, sloshing for special cases of sloshing when the uh, the um, uh, situation uh, could be damaging uh, from point of view of the pressures, right? So it's not for uh, uh, water uh, for breaking waves on open water, but uh, for sloshing. Uh, uh, yeah, we are much more concerned with the uh, 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 sloshing uh, uh, preoccupation there, obviously, because it occurs in a closed basin and uh, it's simple, simply a rectangular one. It's, uh, you capture very, uh, very uh, strong jet. You imagine that if it occurs in the uh, LNG tank, uh, <laughs> you, you have a, a critical jet which are uh, very energetic because uh, you reach uh, acceleration, which is about uh, about uh, uh, three, four hundred times the gravity. Mm, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if my, I, I can see your uh, screen and it seems that you can uh, read the chat. So yes. if there is any questions, uh, because I cannot see chat now. I, uh, I see all the participants. No, no, I have no, no, no. Uh, yeah. As as I can see, it's mainly thanks for nice talk and uh, but not so many. Some comments could be from uh, Mark, but uh, not great. And uh, uh, okay, so I have uh, uh, one question, but it's uh, yeah. The I believe I just missed uh, something on the way. So if my thank you very much uh, for your very interesting presentation, very exciting uh, presentation. And uh, thank you for all our participants who attended. The uh, this uh, uh, talk uh, uh, been recorded and uh, it will be uploaded, so uh, you and your colleague could uh, uh, watch this presentation uh, in full details and uh, in a slow pace, <laughs> uh, getting uh, uh, more understanding and uh, uh, getting more feeling of what you can do in this very interesting program. So thank you very much. So then I'll, um, I, I do not close. Yeah, thank you. Many thanks for our participants. I do not close this session because I need to, um, but I will disappear uh, because I need to uh, download uh, the uh, record and then upload it, upload it again, it takes time, uh, it takes minutes. So uh, then uh, uh, the uh, I'm closing uh, this session. Thank I you very much. Yeah, and um, e, thank you very much. And uh, I stop recording. Okay. okay.